and the legend still lives on. The, the start of the whole thing about Sabaton writing about war history started when we were doing the uh, the demo, well, for Primo Victoria in 2004, and we had the music for it, but we were looking for something fitted to the music that was big and important, because that's that was kind of the feeling we had of the music. And then we were watching the movie Saving Private Ryan, and we said, "That's there we go. Let's write about this because it's way more interesting than anything we wrote about in the past." And it fitted, and we thought, okay, this is this is a really interesting. Instead of just writing lyrics about nothing, made up fiction, fantasy, whatever, then we write about something in reality, because reality do beat fiction, and there's way more stories that are more emotionally connected in reality than you can make up. Well. The most interesting era of to write about for us has been World War II. World War II has so many different aspects. It includes, obviously, pretty much the whole world and a lot of nations, a lot of uh, just also campaigns or, or specific places where and people where it takes. There's so many fates and so many people involved that. There is unlimited amount of inspiration in there. It is also a war where the soldier got to tell their story. It's well documented. I mean, you don't have to go far back at all. Uh, I mean, only go just before the First World War. And the regular soldier couldn't read or write. I mean, obviously there were no movie cameras back in those days and they could tell their story. You'd only get the commander's version of that. And that's pretty much propaganda because no commander wants to look bad, you know, when he's presenting his, uh, you know, campaign to the king. So, uh, World War II is one of the, well, not most fascinating ones, but it's... We can relate to it. Yeah, I mean, weapons and armor, it looks like you'd expect it to do today, so you can relate to it. Take uh, whatever was used, you know, a thousand years earlier, and it's much, much harder to relate to. They would never die, they would never die. They're through the blockade, they were finally saved.